And let me answer some questions I know you've had because you keep sending them in. Jesse, will this ever actually hit the players' pocketbooks? Yes. But it's going to take time. That's why I'm telling you, don't just make it a one Sunday thing. Here's how everybody gets paid, all right? People get paid for eyeballs. The NFL sells its Monday night football game. I don't know who has it now because, again, I'm not watching anymore. CBS. Let's call it CBS. The NFL has a Monday night football package. Every Monday night, they're going to sell football to CBS. Well, CBS and other companies are going to approach the NFL with offers for that. CBS says, I'm going to pay you $100. I'm really simplifying things here. I'm going to pay you $100. Bucks. NBC says, I'll pay you $110. And so on and so forth. But when CBS is offering that $100, they're offering it with the expectation they'll be able to sell $150 worth of advertising. Everybody wins. CBS plays the NFL. CBS plays the NFL. CBS goes to different ad companies, different private companies, and said, you should run a commercial with us. We have to charge you a fortune, but look at these TV ratings for Monday Night Football. It's huge. Eventually, if the ratings are down long enough, what CBS can charge for that ad goes down. If what CBS, and all the networks really, again, I don't even know if CBS has it, but if, if what networks can charge for NFL ads goes down, and it will if you stop watching for long enough, then the next time the NFL signs a TV contract with somebody, the NFL comes in and says, hey, CBS, you want that Monday Night Football for 100 bucks again? And CBS is going to say, no. See, our numbers were in the tank. We couldn't make any money on that deal. We'll give you 50 for it. Then the NFL has to go back to its players and say, oh, this new, this new agreement you wanted, how we're having a new agreement with the union? You don't get any more money. You get less money now. Hope you enjoyed the protest, though, right? Black Lives Matter. Sorry about your contract. Yes, it matters if you do it for long enough. If you stop watching for one Sunday or one season and those ratings rocket right back up, then you get what you get. Don't throw a fit. And here's another bit of good news for you. I did enjoy this part when all this idiotic Black Lives Matter stuff popped up and all the sports leagues were doing the, oh, I'm so, oh, oh. I'm so guilty. I have so much white guilt. Roger Goodell was out there whimpering to Colin Kaepernick. Well, I, the first thing I'd say is I wish we had listened earlier, uh, Cap, to what you were kneeling about and what you were trying to bring attention to. Uh, we had invited him in several times to have the conversation, to have the dialogue. Mm -hmm. I wish we had the benefit of that. Yeah. We never did. Um, and, you know, we would have benefited from that. Yeah. Absolutely. I wish we'd listened. We really should we really should have given a given a long ear to the America hating cop hater. Yeah, he he really he brought up some good points. I feel so bad we didn't listen. Accept my apology, please. Well, here's what Colin Kaepernick thinks of your apology. Quote, while the NFL runs propaganda about how they care about black life, they're still actively blackballing Eric Reed for fighting for the black community. Eric set two franchise records last year and is one of the best defensive players in the league. I love it. And you know why I love it? Because all these spineless, useless idiot owners and commissioners who think they can just, if we just throw enough Black Lives Matter hashtags out there, then they'll finally love us. I'm glad they're learning their lesson. I'm glad it gets spit back in their face every time. Here was the NFL this Sunday. Please enjoy. And this is what you missed. I, I just want you to breathe all this in. When you turned it off, that was the players locking arms in unity. Nope, not for two cops that were shot. Not for the police officer after police officer who's been shot and killed and assaulted across this country over the past few months. Nope. That was for... Some guy in Kenosha who just got done sexually assaulting a young lady. Hey, thanks so much for watching the first on YouTube. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and like and subscribe. You heard me like it, subscribe. You'll get a lot more of it and a lot more of me.